Imagine having access to some powerful apps that can help you create your content, research what the actual content should be about, and then finally turning all of that information into a powerful course that you can monetize. Well, today I have two apps that's gonna help you do all of this. Hey you, make sure to check the links in the description. You'll definitely wanna see what these two AI power tools can do. And with Black Friday comes amazing deals and amazing value. And that's the case for this video today. And for that, we're gonna head over to one of my most valuable resources that will give you access to some of the best tools but for the best deals specifically lifetime deals so you just pay once you have forever access to these powerful tools we're gonna head over to AppSumo one of my favorite websites for finding some of the best hidden gems and don't forget to check the links in the description an amazing lifetime deal okay so we're over here in AppSumo right now and you can see as I just begin to scroll every single app that you're gonna see on their homepage are going to have these crazy lifetime deals. Okay, so this app I want to talk about is called Neuron Rider. This is a very impressive deal. So right now, it's going to be 87% off. It's usually $750, but right now, you can get it for $99. And so like I said earlier, it's a one-time payment, but for lifetime access. Neuron Rider is packed with AI-powered research and writing tools to help you plan and improve your SEO by actually planning your content. So it's going to help you come up with the best keywords, the best ideas, and my favorite part with the power of AI, it actually can write all of your content for you. And now we can come in here and click this button right here to start afresh with some new content keywords, okay? So for this example, let's see what's something I want to rank for. Now, if you've ever been to my website, you know that I have thousands of prompts on here for anybody to use. There are going to be a ton of prompts that you could select in these drop-down boxes. Every single blog post is also going to have prompt after prompt after prompt for ChatGPT. GPT. That brings me to the question of what do I want my content to rank for? I'm simply going to type in best prompts for chat GPT. Now here is the information right here. There is my content. Now all we have to do is simply click on it and it's going to open up this whole new world of very helpful information. Okay, now it's done. Now look at this over here. Here's my search term at the very top and it's going to automatically select the top 10 people in the SERP of who my main competitors may be for this actual content. And so now what this is going to do is bring us to the actual editor, now we can start generating our own content. On the right hand side, it's going to have all of the specific terms that I need to help increase my chances of ranking. And at the very top right hand corner, this is going to be my score. You can see that highest of all selected competitors is 77, top one in Google is 74. So in order to get to the top 10 in Google, I just need to get my score somewhere close to around 50. So the first thing we want to do, again, let's just make this be all AI generated. If I click in the actual title, it says, what sort of title should I create based off of my search term? I can either write it on my own or I can let AI do it for me. And now just like that, look, it went ahead and provided a good title for me. Okay, perfect. Now let's go to description and let the AI create a description for me. There is a description. Everything looks pretty good. And then on the right-hand side, here is the metadata as well for all of my competitors. My score just by that change alone is now at a 17. Let's go ahead and generate our article outline based off of my title it automatically populates and now what i'll say is write for me now look at this just by this alone this is the whole entire article outline look at that just by adding that alone my score is now 52 remember i just need a 50 to get into the top 10 but nothing is better than the true test of time so after uploading this content onto a blog post and then giving it a few days or weeks that will really be the true test to see if this could indeed rank in the top 10. okay now let's go ahead and wrap this up go back to ai writing and now let's see if we can get the whole thing written for us. Let's go ahead and now generate a title. Okay, best prompts for chat GPT. And I can select my tone of voice and then suggested output length of words. Let's just go ahead and select write for me. We can go pretty deep on this and get very detailed. But right now, I just want to show you this as far as speed is concerned. So I can just show you the very basics on how to use this. Okay, now look, look at this. That is a good looking paragraph, all done with AI. Very good. This looks very good. The next okay. thing we want to do is underneath each heading, I'll go ahead and copy this heading right here, this H2, okay, with that copied on the right hand side now i'm going to select a paragraph just like that go ahead and paste that in over here on the right hand side because now what i'm doing i am now going to generate an ai written paragraph for each of my headings so there it is right there okay include the following unused basic terms that is going to be so helpful output length we'll leave it at 150 and now write for me and now look at that just like that underneath my h2 it did exactly what i was looking for so you'd basically repeat the process for all of your headings 
as many headings as you want and just keep continuing to have AI write it based off of just your specific heading or keyword. But I always do want to remind you, never fully depend on AI written content, especially if you're trying to rank with Google, you don't want to be penalized. So what I would suggest is generate the content, but always add your own human element to it, rewrite it, and you may want to even put it through an AI detection tool. Okay, now moving on. Now this app is going to be one of my new favorites. It's called Eureka. And again, you're also going to get an amazing lifetime deal with AppSumo as well. Remember, links are in the description. It's a tool that can help you come up with popular course ideas and then actually create the content for it. 330,000 courses. Look at all this information. You even have access to 40 million books. So what this is going to do is if you have an idea, okay, you'll be able to find thousands of courses, but then it will actually make your course for you. And then what's called with AI Lesson Architect, this is going to help you overcome the worst parts of writer's block. And then basically it's going to do everything else for you. Okay, now with that said, let's head over here to Eureka right now. And you can see on the left-hand side, my menu is open. We're going to have course research, platform research, book research, and then title keyword planner. Then down below development, we're going to have our content planner and editor. And then my favorite, the AI lesson architect. But to start, let's go ahead and start with the course research. So at the very top, it's going to give you all the tools. What course topic are you interested in? I'll just select Canva. Look at this right off the bat. It gives me everything that I could possibly need directly at my fingertips. There is so much information, total courses, total students, platforms with courses. If I hover over it, you can see that we're going to have all of these platforms that have Canva related courses. Let's change up our keyword just a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and go with Canva AI now. Okay. Now look at this. Now this is going to be much better. Canva AI. Now look at my opportunity score. It tells me go super good ratios and trends, which that's good news for me because starting in just a couple of months, I'm going to have these amazing Canva AI courses for all of you to use. All right. So now that we're on to something, now let's go ahead and take it even further. Okay. As I scroll down, now we can see all of our most important information. This is only a little bit over an hour. It was updated in June. How many students rating price and then platform is going to be Udemy. So as we scroll down, we can see all of the different courses right here. Okay. Also all of the different price points, which is going to be incredibly helpful. I can also select C related topics. And if I hover over it, I can see we have magic studio, more related topics and the top search trends based on timeline. If I wanted to check out this course, I can actually click on it. It's then going to open up this window right here. And now we can see a lot more details about it. The reviews, the instructor and the sales page and everything that it consists of. I can even select AI gap analysis, select this. And what this is going to do is based on the given course outline, it's going to show me what's missing and what could it be included to enhance the course on this topic. Okay. Now on the left hand side, again, let's go ahead and select book research. What book topic are you interested in? Let's just go ahead and put in AI. Now it's going to show me all of these popular AI related books. And I even get a little bit of a preview on the right hand side. As I scroll, I can read through some of it to see if I actually like it. Let's go back down to the left hand side on the column and now select title keyword planner. Okay. Enter topic or keyword. And again, I'll type in Canva AI. Let's see what happens if I select search for this one. Now, just like that, it shows me all of this data. Now let's see how easy this is to actually create a course. So for that, let's click content planner editor. Okay. And then it walks me through. I have a personal AI assistant right here. And then here I can add key ideas. Okay. Now I just put a simple title up here at the very top. I just put learn Canva AI, but then look what happens. I can go to doc view. It's going to give me this cool little outline. I can go to slide view. It's going to generate different slides and it even provides me with a sales page that's AI generated right here. Basically a landing page that is going to help you generate the sale. And you can see it in real time. It's giving me everything I basically need for a good sales page. But again, let's go ahead and go to lesson architect by simply selecting AI. Okay. Introduce. Let's select introduce and look at this right here, right off the bat. It's going to give me all of this cool stuff that I can go ahead and use simply off of Canva AI. I have a very good introduction I can use. And then as I follow down, you can do the same thing for each section by selecting AI. And then you can let the AI architect basically do everything for you and then even generate a next section. Now with that said, let's go to lesson architect and see what happens over here. Let's go ahead and go with create a course audience type is going to be a beginner adult. What is your title or topic? I'll just say learn Canva AI background and content details needed in the output. Let's go ahead and go with uh, two hours. Okay. Now generate. It really is that simple to let this lesson architect literally draft and do everything for you. Then you could see instantly over here 
on the right hand side, it's given me everything that we want. The section, the section hook, the key ideas, scrolling down, it does the same thing for section two, section three, all the way down to section four, and then finally section five. Here is my introduction with the details, the lesson plan, the interface. As I scroll down, it did it for all five chapters I requested. Let's do describe this time, and then in real time, it's gonna give me a description of what this actual course is about. Now, I'm gonna have everything right here. So there you have it, two very powerful apps to help take your content creation to a whole new level. If you like this video, please hit that subscribe button, and thank you so much for watching.